Welcome to this Dell EMC storage technical video. Today we are presenting a video on AppSync version 3.7. AppSync version 3.7 can now create and manage application consistent snapshot copies on Dell SC series storage. AppSync supports the following applications on SC series storage. Oracle databases, SQL Server databases, Microsoft Exchange, VMware data stores, and file systems. Be aware that with this version, only the local block protection use case is supported, known as the bronze level service plan in AppSync. Using SC series snapshots with AppSync can provide fast recovery of application consistent data. Let's take a look. Starting Dell EMC AppSync from the desktop here, brings up the administrative user logon page where you put in the admin username and password, hit log on. And it loads the page. Dell EMC AppSync provides application consistent snapshot copy creation management and recovery features for many of Dell EMC storage brands. Starting with version 3.7 of AppSync, this version, protection of application storage on SC series arrays is now supported for local block protection. To begin taking advantage of this new protection, we go into settings, storage infrastructure, and click add. Dell SC series is referred to here as Dell SC. And we put in the IP address of our, our Dell storage manager data collector. And the default port, SSL port of 3033 and the Username and password for the data collector. Click Next. And the uh, Dell SC storage arrays appear that are managed by this data collector. And uh, you can select which arrays you want to work with on this AppSync server. We're going to select them all and click Finish. And that successfully configures those arrays for this AppSync server. Once the SC storage arrays are registered, application protection jobs are managed using copy management. Here we see the specific applications that AppSync can protect on SC series. Microsoft Exchange, VMware data centers, Microsoft SQL Server, File Systems, and Oracle. For example, if we select the first option here of Microsoft Exchange, we'll see that some prior server information has been entered into AppSync. You may also notice here that AppSync supports Exchange database availability groups and their server members, as well as standalone mailbox servers. JS16 in Exchange 2016 with Windows 2016 server was previously added. During the server add, AppSync plugin service was installed on the server. The service discovers apps and SC series storage volumes in use by those apps. Drilling into the server, we see the database storage volumes that can be selected for protection by an AppSync service plan. Clicking the DB2 database, we see a number of snapshots that have been taken by a daily copy management job that is scheduled through the bronze service plan. Clicking on service plans for Microsoft Exchange, it appears that gold, silver, and bronze plans are available for configuration. For this initial version of Dell SC series support in AppSync, only local backup copies are supported. Thus, the bronze service plan is, is the one available for a valid local copy configuration. 
clicking the bronze plan, we see a number of configuration options for scheduling and local copy creation. Another example of application consistent support available for SC series storage is through the VMware Data Center's copy management. Here is the connection to the virtual infrastructure and it's through a VMware vCenter server. VMware data stores are protected by again selecting a bronze service plan for local consistent snapshots of data stores and of protected virtual machines and their VSS enabled applications. Oracle databases are protected on SC series as well. A bronze service plan is used to place open databases into a hot backup mode prior to snapshot in order to provide data consistency in the local copy snapshot. Here we can see a number of snapshots that have been taken through this bronze service plan schedule. And if we switch over to the DSM data collector, we can see that these same snapshots appear as AppSync labeled snapshots on the individual volumes. Monitoring gives the administrator options for alerting, compliance, service plan completion, and in-progress activities. The remaining application options are similar in setup to the examples already presented in the fact that server names are input for agent installation and application discovery. The specific SC series volumes are then assigned a service plan and application consistent snapshots are taken on the assigned schedule. Data recovery from these snapshots is quick and easy. By choosing a point in time from the snapshots, that copy of the database volume can be mounted as a view volume using the mount option shown here. Click next and for example as this is an exchange database volume, the database and logs can be validated through the standard Microsoft CRC check for consistency. For mount options, we'll choose the defaults, except for we'll uncheck the VMware cluster mount enablement. Click Next and Finish. And the mount starts So this point in time copy will become an offline database copy of that DB2 database that is mounted to the same server as the online copy. And now the validation is running. and the mount and validation are completed successfully. As we can see, this snapshot is now mounted as a view volume on JS16. And additional recovery steps could include, for example, using recovery databases that are built into Exchange or third-party tools such as on-track power controls to recover 
individual mailboxes or messages from this offline database copy. In this video, you've been introduced to support for Dell SC storage arrays in Dell EMC AppSync version 3.7. We sincerely hope that this demo was useful in informing you, the viewer, about this new option for protecting your Dell SC-based application storage. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day.